Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day as always. My name is Michael and thank you for joining me. So today I want to talk about spending your money on things that actually matter. And the reason why I want to bring this up is because I'm sure uh, if you're anything like me, you have a goal, a vision of your future where you're not really beholden to anyone else. You're financially free. But what I want to talk about is how we can get there um, through kind of some of the small things that we can do. Uh, and the big thing that we can all do and something that I should be doing uh, is spending money only on things that matter. And to illustrate this point, I do want to talk about two things that I spent money on this month. One which was uh, more on the more expensive side of things that I normally buy, but I do not regret spending money on whatsoever. And I'll talk about something else that which, which was much less expensive, uh, but I actually regret much more spending money on this particular item. Um, and then I'm going to wrap it up with some things that I think all of us should think about when it comes to how we spend our money. But let's just go ahead and talk about the two things that I spent money on this month. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is me purchasing and building the components to build a three-tier compost system. Now, I don't know if any of you guys are homeowners that are interested in composting as well, but I've had this idea in my head for a while now. Um, I actually built a pretty makeshift compost system in the back. It didn't cost me anything, but it wasn't working as well as, it, as I wanted it to work. And it also, if I'm being honest, just wasn't very aesthetically pleasing. So I wanted to build this. Um, I bought all the materials which is really just cedar planks, some two by fours, and some screws. Everything else I already had. Um, but the total cost of this project was about $120. And if me and my girlfriend are splitting that money, it's about $60 a person. Um, I don't really care that I spent this money, right? This is $120 um, that I absolutely didn't need to spend whatsoever. You could say this was an unnecessary purchase, but it matters to me. Right? I, I, I really wanted to do this and now that it's built, it's assembled, or I see it in my backyard all the time, I absolutely have no regrets whatsoever. So now anytime I've got food scraps or really anything I can compost, I will be able to compost and it's not going to be an eyesore. And even though it wasn't something that I absolutely needed to do, you know, I can justify this because A, I can afford it and B, I don't regret it, right? This is something that brings happiness to me uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. It's going to have a lasting value, and therefore I can justify this as spending my money on something that matters to me. Um, and I'm gonna keep spending my money on things of similar, um, I don't know what the right word is, but in a similar category, right? My goal for this year is to actually start trying to grow some of my own food, uh, possibly get into having backyard chickens, um, and then possibly spending more money on plants, vegetables. I'm not, you know, deluding myself into thinking that I'm not going to spend money on groceries anymore, but this is just a fun project for me, uh, but it will require some upfront expense. Okay, now as for the other thing that I spent money on that I regret, uh, I, earlier in the month I had to replace my guitar strings, and just like any time you go online shopping when they say you buy this and you might be interested in this, well, I spent eight or nine dollars, I can't remember, on a guitar capo. Uh, it's something that I've never really had. I thought, oh, you know, maybe I'll use it. It'll help me out in some of my playing. Maybe it'll motivate me to do something else. And in the month that I've had this now, I haven't used it once, right? And so therefore, to me, it doesn't really matter. I don't regret not using it. It hasn't really been something um, that I've really just wanted to use. And therefore, I just feel like I wasted pretty much 10 bucks, right? And so even though that wasn't a, a big expense, right? it's less than a tenth of what I spent on the compost system. I regret purchasing that way more than I regret spending $120 on a compost system, right? And so at the end of the day, it really is important to justify uh, what you spend your money on with really no one else but you, okay? If it's something that you think will add value, long-term value to your life, then yeah, you really shouldn't beat yourself up for something because you want it, right? But I think the key to that is determining whether or not it really does add value. You need to be honest with yourself, right? So ask yourself, like, is this something that is going to benefit me in the long run, right? Can I afford this in the moment, right? You know, this is kind of a financial channel, so definitely don't go into debt for anything you don't really need. That just 100% is something you should not do whatsoever. Another thing that you should ask yourself is, do you think you'll have potential 
buyer's remorse. You know, for me, I 100% do uh, with my little $9 capo over there. Even though it wasn't a big expense, again, I still regret purchasing it and now I feel guilty about buying something and therefore I should have just avoided it entirely in the first place. So again, it's all about trying to justify to yourself whether or not you should make this purchase on something. Um, and I would like to ask you guys, what is it that you spend your money on that maybe other people don't understand, but it adds value to you, right? It actually has long-term value and benefits to your life. Likewise, what are some things that you spend money on that you 100% know you shouldn't spend money on? Um, either way, I'd love to hear from you. Put it down in the comment section below. And hopefully in the future, you and me both can do a better job uh, of keeping our expenses to things that only matter for ourselves. Um, definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. If you feel like supporting the channel directly, I do have two links down below. One is to Patreon if you feel like being a direct contributor uh, on a month-to-month -month basis. If not, there is an Amazon link as well. So if you are purchasing, hopefully something that you need, uh, you can use the Amazon link. It gives a small commission to the channel and any and all support is greatly appreciated. But again, thank you so much for watching. Take care, make smart decisions, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I know I just said this stuff, but let me say it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. And to support you, here's two more videos that I've made in the past in case you haven't seen them. Don't forget to share these with your friends and family so we can help all the people achieve their financial goals. Likewise, if there's anything that you would want to see made that you haven't seen thus far, definitely don't hesitate to let me know. But thanks again, take care, and have a good day.